Hi guys, welcome to Stefan Eats and uh, today we're gonna go way back to our original series that we first started off with. Uh, we're gonna continue our burger quest. Uh, since I've done a lot of these early uh, videos, some uh, pretty cringy, I, I must admit, uh, they're having some brand new burger places that have kind of popped up uh, all around the city. Uh, new burger concepts, uh, yeah, just ridiculous burgers, a lot of smash burger spots. Uh, so yeah, let's revive this series. East Vancouver, we are here and uh, this is a spot that, like I said, I've tried before uh, and I want to try this burger right now. It is morning time. Uh, yeah, our uh, mouths are salivating. Uh, burger juices will soon be entering our mouths. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, so first place, uh, Fable Diner. Uh, this place um, is kind of like a down-home uh, spot. Uh, a lot of like diner dishes, but their burgers are super solid. I've been here before, and there's also somebody else who's been here before. Yeah, Guy Fieri. In celebration of Guy Fieri, got my Hawaiian shirt, and I got my colorful pants. This is the item that um, Guy Fieri did try, and judged by his reaction, I think it's gonna be pretty solid. I've had this before, I know kind of what to expect. This is a uh, pancake with some roasted duck and some kimchi, and then look at that roasted duck just kind of layered on top. Oh yes, perfect. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, wow. Yes, look at him. Oh, and just shredding off. Super tender. I'm gonna try to make like a little bit of like a mini taco. Yeah. Just an explosion of flavor. The kimchi is a little bit uh, spicy, a little bit tangy, a little bit uh, salty. That duck is just so tender. Uh, there's definitely some hoisin sauce on that, and then the warm, fluffy pancake. Oh, let me grab another bite. Mm. Giant props to their kimchi. I don't know who their supplier of kimchi is, but that's some very solid uh, kimchi. It's like a very intense kimchi, and I love it. It's so good. Next dish, uh, this is their super loaded burger. Look at this. This is probably the other reason I came here. Look at that. Just two kind of smash burgers, American cheese on both patties, and um, well, look at that. It's, what I love is the size of the patties just kind of protruding out of the bun. The, the patties are bigger and larger than the bun. Mm. Let me compose myself. <laughs> Super delicious. The sauce is really good. The sauce almost reminds me of the triple O sauce, but better. The patties are so juicy, and then you just get that crust on there. There's bacon in the middle. There's the American cheese, and yeah, all together, just super solid. Very good burger. I'd say it's almost like a white spot burger, but way, way better. That crunch of the super thick bacon, wow, ridiculously good. One of the best burgers in Vancouver, for sure. Super good. <laughs> Next one is a spicy fried chicken burger. We asked for this super spicy, so we'll see uh, how spicy it is. I'm not really sure what to expect from this one, uh, but it looks pretty good, and they hype it up on the menu. Woo! Oh yeah, they're bringing the heat. Oh yeah, that is very spicy. It almost reminds me of like a natural hot chicken. And it's not super crispy. That's probably because we waited a little bit. We did the other stuff first. But yeah, if you like your spice, ask for it extra spicy. I got a little bit, yeah. A little bit of sweat coming out. Oh wow, there's so much chicken. I really like the amount of chicken in there. This is a sauce they are using, I think, on the chicken. Uh, so it's called a Dang That's Hot Sauce. Uh, it is pretty spicy, but I really like the flavor coming out of it. A lot of fruitiness. Very, very good sauce, but watch out. It is pretty spicy. So comfortable. You know when you're going to a business meeting, you know, this could be my tie. <laughs> no. like, wear, wear this, my tie, you get it? It's pretty terrible. Our uh, next place is uh, gonna be a little bit more on the higher end. Uh, it's a place that has, I think it's about a $27 uh, dollar burger. Uh, but according to all the reviews, it's supposed to be absolutely amazing. Also, their other dishes are really cool too. Also, I saw Hokkaido scallops on uh, the menu too. 
What kind of scallops? It's like my foodie, my foodie senses are tingling. This one is a white bean and rock crab, uh, and I think, yeah, a uh, dip. So yeah, it's a white bean rock crab dip, and uh, the rock crab, I think, is butter poached. Oh, it's like a giant piece of rock crab. Look at that. Oh my lord. Oh, this looks good. Okay, let's just uh, dip it. These are cassava chips coming with it. Look at that consistency. Oh, yes. Oh wow. Okay. That yeah, is literally half butter, half crab. Oh wow. Yeah, the bean dip is very, very smooth. That kind of a orangey, kind of translucent oil looking uh, stuff is actually butter. Very mild flavor for the crab. You can definitely tell it's butter poached. Yeah, as soon as you bite into it, you just get uh, just an explosion of butter. So it's like half butter, half crab. They said you can ask for more cassava chips. So I would do that for sure. Maybe even some bread, some nice crusty baguette with this might even be a better combination. I don't mind the cassava chips, but I just think it's a little bit meager for that kind of rich dip. This next dish, salivating already. My brain is salivating. It's, oh, uh, this is Hokkaido scallop. There's some uh, caviar on top. This is edible coral. Uh, so this probably is some type of uh, seaweed on there. There's also some crispy confit pork belly somewhere in here. There's some butter poached um, green pea. But yeah, look at that Hokkaido scallop right there. Oh, wow. Let me get a little bit of this uh, pea on there. Wow, okay, so buttery. Scallop is perfectly cooked, beautiful texture to it. Uh, just uh, kind of seared to uh, kind of medium rare. The, uh, the center is still just buttery and delicious. The Hokkaido scallop, probably one of the sweetest scallops out there. Get this dish, 100% get the dish. I'm gonna try a little bit of this edible coral. <laughs> yeah, let's just try this with the edible coral there. Just dissolves in your mouth. Those peas are delicious, but the star is easily this delicious Hokkaido scallop and with that extra kind of salty, uh, kind of poppy burst of the um, of the caviar on there. What a dish, what a dish, what a dish. Here is the main star, the TRA burger. This $27 monstrosity, look at this. This is a Brant Lake Wagyu beef patty uh, with I think some Havarti cheese, some cheddar, some pickled onions, or some pancetta. I think this is a uh, fried pancetta, the little pepper on top. The Brant Lake Wagyu is actually from Alberta. So it's an Alberta Wagyu. So yeah, Canadian Wagyu, uh, kind of interesting. And just, yeah, look at how ridiculous this looks. It's super juicy. Look at that juice on the bottom that's just dripped already from the burger. And it's just soaking into the bottom, but I can feel the moisture of the bottom bun already. Wow, okay, look at that juice. So yeah, super juicy, very, very thick patty. There's a beefsteak tomato on the bottom. Very, very saucy. And there's just, yeah, there are juices flowing all over my fingers right now. I don't know if you can see, but look at my hands. <laughs> Is it worth $27? Hell yeah. Yeah, very, very good. Super melt in your mouth beef. The beef is just super melty, very nicely cooked. Uh, there's a kind of crispy edge to it, but the interior of the beef just disintegrates in your mouth into a buttery goodness. What I really got too was the cheese. I like there's like some giant kind of layer of cheese that just surrounds the beef and you get that too. It almost reminds me of like a buffalo mozzarella and then just super saucy, super delicious. What I like is the sauces are not overpowering, so you're still getting that nice taste of the very good quality beef that they're using. There's a kind of like a, almost a sweet, tomatoey, smoky sauce that envelops the burger too. And that's just adding to the kind of richness of the burger. Oh wow, even my fingers are happy. I think the pores of my skin are enjoying this moment even though they have no taste buds. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, masterpiece of a burger. Super big, super delicious, super juicy. I don't know what other words I can use. It, it's so good. Really cool 
joint inside there's air conditioning so we are very very relaxed a cool thing uh, like I said it's kind of like an arcade bar but at the same time you can get some really delicious burgers here so you have a cool combination and I think for about five bucks more uh, you can play video games so you can play some I think PlayStation there's a N64 uh, you can play Mario Kart, but you can also play just traditional arcade games. So Mimi's Burgers, like I said, it's kind of like a pop-up running out of the kitchen here at a Glitch. And Glitch is the bar itself. It looks like a galaxy of onion rings. I'm gonna take uh, this inner one. Super, super crispy, very light. Perfect onion ring, very, very crispy. And then that nice kind of gooey onion inside. Get their onion rings. Their onion rings are like straight fire. This is a fried chicken burger. I think there's some Monterey Jack, a chicken thigh. Uh, that's, yeah, definitely the chicken thigh there. And of course, those pickles, the sauce, everything. Yeah, this looks really good. Super tender. The chicken is so juicy. Mm. I think it's the chicken thigh that they're using. I just love that super juiciness of the chicken thigh. This is a sleeper chicken sandwich. I would come here for the chicken sandwich. Let's dip it in some of this sauce here. That's the first bite. Good. Thank you, fans. Live from Mimi's Burgers. <laughs> and super great stuff, too. They're super awesome. I love the pickles, the juiciness of the chicken, uh, the thigh that they're using just makes it so much better. And then, of course, that sauce on there. Super, super serious uh, chicken sandwich. One of the better ones I've had in the city, for sure. This is probably what we came here for. This is the uh, double burger. Whoa, look at that. Yes, perfect. We got the uh, double burger. We have the um, the two hum ha hamburger. <laughs> got the two uh, patties with the cheese. You got the tomato. You got the special sauce. I think maybe there's bacon in there. I'm not quite sure. Look at those two smashed patties. Uh, we were wowed by this last time. This was a really, really good burger. Look at that. Oh, yes. And there's some relish at the bottom. There is no sign of ketchup. Good. I'm gonna say this is automatically one of the top burgers out there. The burger is so juicy. The double cheese is amazing. The crunch you get from this, I guess the smash burger, you get that kind of crispy crust. It is super delicious. The sauce is amazing. Everything about this burger, just perfect proportions. Those patties have so much flavor and they're so juicy. If you love burgers and you're in Vancouver, and you have not tried this burger yet, you are missing out. I would say this burger is like if In-N-Out and uh, Shake Shack had a baby and their baby was just much more good looking than them. Just that perfect combination between the two. So good. Street, like over here in this area downtown normally the food eh. but uh, yeah I heard some good stuff about this place there's actually another great place if you watch our Mexican video it's a place a couple blocks up uh, I think it's called just the Mexican that's also another really good one but normally this part of gravel street downtown um, it's more like for clubbing and stuff like that and normally it's not very well known for food you can do a little bit of dancing and stuff and uh, except this music will be copyrighted, so uh, cue the non-copyright music. This might be a first where they give us uh, free alcohol. Getting us drunk is definitely a, uh, a good uh, strategy. <laughs> oh yeah, that was vodka. Yeah, Curacao vodka, and I think there's some lemon in there. Very refreshing, very dangerous. Yeah, you could drink maybe 15 or 20 of those without noticing and then poof. Let's go into the burger. And uh, this one, look at that. So this is a big boy. I think this one is called Viva La Granville. So this has some jalapeno, it has some, uh, some uh, avocado inside, has some cheese. Look at that, look at all that avocado. Yeah, it's perfect. And uh, I like that the uh, patty is nice and smashed too. What I really like is just the size. It is a very kind of large uh, burger. Yeah, a lot of circumference in here. 
Oh, I like that. The patty is nice and smashed. I get a nice uh, crispy kind of edge to it. What I really like is they just fill it with condiments and the one bite I got there was just straight up a whole bunch of mustard, some avocado and some beef. You know how I feel about mustard on a burger. It's probably my favorite condiment. So that was a very good bite. Yeah, lots of mustard. Jalapenos aren't too spicy, but it adds a nice little a fresh uh, spicy kick. Nice, juicy, greasy, lots of avocado, lots of mustard. Can't complain at all. This is probably their special burger. So this is called the Chit Chat uh, Burger. The really unique thing in here is the grilled zucchini, which I haven't seen before. Uh, so yeah, bigger boy. Oh yeah, the grilled zucchini. And of course, you cannot forget, yes, look at all those onions in there. But I think, yeah, the big, uh, the big yes for us is also the fried egg. Yes, the fried egg right in the middle. So fried egg, grilled zucchini, onions, uh, some uh, American cheese. And yeah, we're gonna cut into this one. Bunch of beef. Uh, the uh, the egg is still a little bit ready, which is good because we've uh, waited quite a while to eat this. And of course, let's do a juiciness test. A little bit of juice coming. Oh, look at the egg. <laughs> but yeah, nice juicy patty once again. The patty, nice and crispy, still pretty juicy in the middle. Don't really taste the zucchini, which might be a good thing. I'm not sure. With that egg, yeah, the meltiness of the uh, egg in there is just very highly appreciated. And once again, the nice bite of that mustard and the onion all together. I'm not a big ketchup person when it comes to burgers, so tasting that pronounced uh, mustard flavor with the onions and the beef is very appreciated. So I really like the way they've constructed this burger. If you're on Granville and just having a good, come stop by here. Because like I said, this strip of Granville Street is not really well known for its food. So it's very nice to find a place like this that's dishing out some very solid burgers. And the prices are actually really good for what you're getting. Good drinks, fun staff. So overall, very good experience. And our last place today, uh, we were actually right outside and we got brought in right away. So sorry, it didn't really have an intro. Anyways, we are inside the 12 Kings uh, pub. And they actually have a place, it's like a ghost, not really like a ghost kitchen, but more like uh, they're operating as a, a combination. So. Uh, this place is called Blaze uh, Burger, so they're opening out of the uh, 12 Kings uh, Bar Kitchen. So they are a separate entity, so if you do want to get drinks, you get to drink separately and then the burgers uh, separately too. But I'm gonna be honest, we're a little bit full. The guy who came out and talked to us, he said he's gonna bring a whole bunch of stuff. So let's find our, uh, let's find a second belly here. I'm just gonna just rub this, maybe it'll go away, you never know. Uh, that, that's still there, but it's, it's all good. What have we done? <laughs> Look at this. So super, super nice. They brought us this giant spread. Look at this absolutely epic platter. It's pretty much its own Lazy Susan. Look at this. It spins around. <laughs> wow. So cool. So uh, we only ordered the burgers, but they're super nice. They gave us the sides. You got the fries. You have the onion rings. You have the sweet potato fries. And then the two really cool burgers. This is a mushroom uh, burger. Comes with uh, mushrooms, a whole bunch of uh, pepper. Look at the sides. I mean, my hand can't even wrap around the whole burger itself. It is just huge, just massive. And then this one here is uh, really unique. This is a uh, fully vegan burger. This is a falafel burger. And they said this is a uh, very, very popular uh, for them. Let's start with the falafel burger, actually. I mean, for... <laughs> <laughs> this is just the one patty falafel and this is heavy and it's already juicing all over my hand. There's a puddle forming in my palm right now, <laughs> back here. There's some pickles, some pickled turnip and uh, some other goodies in there and then of course this uh, falafel patty. nice flavor on the falafel very very flavorful nice saltiness to it there's not too much sauce on it so I think I know what this calls for we're gonna dip it into some of these sauces this is their special sauce Perfect. Mm. oh that sauce yeah super addictive sauce a little bit sweet there's a little bit of brininess in there very very good so the falafel is really tender really fluffy and then just a nice amount of vegetables very fresh tasting and then yeah definitely put some of those sauces on there because that's really what wakes it up now the main event is this 
crazy giant mushroom burger. Look at this. Two, I think they put two patties on there. I don't think it even comes with two patties, so I think they've hooked us up super, super heavy, somehow heavier than the other burger. Uh, whole bunch of mushrooms, whole bunch of bacon, two giant patties, whole bunch of veggies on the bottom. I don't even know if this is even working. This is just probably a prop at this point. I am sweating because I think my body knows what's coming. Look at that bacon. I really like just a huge amount of crispy bacon, thick cut bacon. Okay. <laughs> I said, uh, I said we we're going to find a second stomach. We might have to find a fourth or fifth stomach for this one. A few moments later. Oh, there you go. Uh, this is an unhinged jaw moment. No. <laughs> Super beefy. I didn't think the beef was gonna have like a crust on it, but it has a very nice, uh, meaty, hefty crust. That thick cut bacon comes in. And then yeah, those mushrooms, not too many mushrooms, but you can definitely taste those mushrooms in there. So much beef. When I was a kid, I wanna say mushroom burgers were actually my favorite thing. Every time I went out as a kid and went to a burger joint, I would always get the mushroom burger. I don't know what happened recently. Just didn't seem to be a thing for me anymore. But this is really bringing me back to those days of just those ridiculously big mushroom burgers. And this is super well done. Wow. Let's put some of that special sauce on there because that, that's really just going to be absolutely epic. Super delicious, super juicy, super crispy. Those sauces are fire. And of course, you got these uh, sweet potato fries here. What's a sweet potato's uh, favorite uh, sci-fi show? Star Trek. You know, before I couldn't fly, but now I got onion wings. <laughs> Poor stomach. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on this epic burger quest. I think this is part five. Yeah. Anyways, so many delicious burgers, so many cool options. Let me just say, Vancouver's burger game has just uh, has just exponentially grown uh, to the point where we just have so many delicious burgers. If you do enjoy our videos, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, also hit the bell icon so we can notify you of future videos. And of course, let us know in the comments uh, if you have any other burger spots you want us to try, or if there are any other types of food you want us to try and put in a video. Anyways, that will be it for us here. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over there and take a giant nap. Ciao for now.